The first two episodes of The Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power, that's a title, are out now on Amazon Prime. So is it the worst thing in the world making you want to take your own life? Or is it the greatest TV series of all time? Well, people have certainly said both. I don't think it's either of those things. Let's talk about it briefly. As some of you may know, Amazon purchased the rights to Lord of the Rings a few years back for a small sum of like a billion dollars. And with that, they've put a bunch of money in themselves and you can see it on the screen. This is a beautiful show. It's easily the prettiest thing I've ever seen. And I get to wake up and look at the mirror at this guy every day. A close second in beauty though is Galadriel. Wow, what a knockout. And not only is she a beauty, she is the full package. She's a badass. She's got the cool accent, that elvish accent on her voice. She's a strong female lead. And honestly, it's about time. It's an ongoing joke here. There's also black people in this, so ho <laughs> ho I know it's not what Tolkien envisioned when he made his all whites only books, but things change in the world and maybe the tone of the skin isn't the biggest deal. We're just gonna scorch earth with this video. Yeah, these are things people are upset about. It's too woke. It's not woke enough. There's not enough representation. There's too much representation. You know what I think? Fuck all of them. I just wanna watch a movie and a TV show and enjoy it for once, like a normal person who stays off the internet. I watched this show with my wife. We both had a great time. Is it perfect? No. Lord of the Rings is, the, the movies. I haven't read the book, so. If you're a book purist, yeah, you're probably gonna hate this, but book purists also hated the Lord of the Rings. Not all of them, but some of them were like, that blade of grass was not described that way in the book. So I can understand if they're upset about things here. I just wanna be entertained. I wanna get lost in Middle Earth again, and this provided that. I already talked about how it's visually beautiful. It's a splendor on the eyes. The acting's great. I like all the characters. I will say there's a new archer that was introduced around you know, like two thirds through the first episode. And that whole section felt a little worse than the previous stuff. Like the B unit did the writing and the filming of it. Kind of took me out of the picture, but then it brought me back in for the final act. Second episode was much better. This show, the saga, whatever they're gonna make it, takes place centuries before the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit. So there's only a couple characters that have come back. Uh, it's the elves because they're, you know, ageless. They're born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline, something like that. And of course, we can't forget that gift that keeps on giving, Sauron. This guy's a dick. He's just always around causing trouble. I'm gonna have to watch this again to understand a lot because Galadriel narrates and she's got this beautiful elvish voice, but it's almost too elvish. It's like Nicole Kidman with her British accent. I'm not buying it, lady. You're a British person pretending to be British. It's just weird. If you take a step back and really dissect things, yeah, you could say, okay, we have female hobbits this time instead of boy hobbits, even though they're not hobbits, they're called like little foots. Uh, like the land before time or half foots, something like that. Not fully hobbits yet. Not a girl, not yet a woman, Britney Spears, somewhere in the middle. I assume they're ancestors. We have a cave troll in the first episode. It's a snow troll. Gets taken out pretty easily though. Lord of the Rings does it so much better. Listen, this isn't better than the Lord of the Rings movies. We're only two episodes in, two hours have been told. And I went into this show thinking it was gonna be kind of a hot mess because Amazon hasn't produced anything I've been impressed with yet. But here I am telling you it's great, telling you I'm ready to watch, I'm invested. I thought it was far better so far than the new Game of Thrones show, House of Dragons, House of the Dragons, something like that. The last thing I wanna point out is the music is grand as shit. I love it, I freaking eat it up. There is absolutely craft on display here absolutely heart was put into this show to make it the best they could. I implore you to give it a chance at least, and you might be pleasantly surprised like I was. All right, those are my thoughts real quick. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Like the video if you maybe got something out of this and wanna hear more. Subscribe to me at Adam Does Movies as I post tons of movie and TV show reviews each and every week for your hopeful pleasure. And until that time, take care. Wow, we certainly went on a journey together and we made it this far, so you might as well go even a step further. Follow me on TikTok at Adam Does Movies or follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Adam Does Movies. Give me some of those Jeff Bezos bucks. You know you get a free Amazon Prime membership each and every month. Most people just toss it right in the trash. You could give it to me. Ha, Amazon, you're not getting all my money this week. Adam's getting some because he earned it. He's putting in the work. 
If you really, really super duper like what I'm doing, I'm on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. Or you can become a member right here on YouTube via that join button and say, Adam, here's five bucks a month. Keep it up, son. You're doing great. And I will. I'll do the best I possibly can.